For this week's Mental Health Monday segment, we were able to sit down with Porterville College's president, Dr. Claudia Habib, to discuss mental health awareness here on campus. Hello, Dr. Habib. Thank you for taking the time to talk with us about the important subject of mental health. Why do you think it's so important for students to take care of their mental health here in college? Mm -hmm. Well, Carlos, first of all, thank you so much for inviting me to be part of this campaign. And let me start by saying that mental health is often misunderstood or unrecognized even for those who are living with this medical condition. There are over 50 million Americans who are suffering or going through some form of mental health issue, and they're struggling. They're struggling because the demands of today's world, the additional pressures are affecting our mental health. Therefore, taking care of our mental wellness is very important. And let me add, Carlos, that our students are particularly uh, susceptible to mental health issues because they often are uh, juggling multiple things, juggling family, relationships, uh, work, um, many demands. Uh, so they are they're trying to keep their grades up. So um, these issues, in, additional, in addition to relationships in their lives, could affect their mental wellness. But in every dark cloud, there's always a silver lining. And Carlos, the silver lining is that at PC, we have many resources that are available for students. So what can a student do here at Porterville College to take care of their mental health? I think it's very important for students to know that we have many resources available here at PC. Let me mention one very important. We have Timely Care that provides 24-7 medical and mental wellness support. And just by using the app, just by using the cell phone, students have access to counselors, to group sessions, individual sessions, to tackle issues of stress and anxiety, all with their phones anywhere at any time. We also have student health and wellness site on our web. So that includes important resources like screening tools and helpful articles, tips, presentations, videos, all related to mental health and wellness. So I strongly recommend and encourage students to use these resources and services. And please, if, if you're having trouble or if you know somebody who's um, struggling, make sure to recommend the use of these services and reach out for help. We're going through tough times, and the last two years have been particularly difficult, but the best way is to get through that together. Well, I appreciate your time. Thank you for doing this interview with us, and I hope you have a good day.